Hold on, hold on. I'm turning that down for you. <laughs> we are live. <laughs> One of the episodes of the comedian. <laughs> That man needs no introduction. You know who it is. It's my co-host. <laughs> it is the man who brings the party. Give yeah. For Orlando Lake. Do you have a DJ name? You got to no, have a DJ man. name with air horn? No, 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 no. DJ name. No, I don't have a DJ, DJ name. DJ Adorable in the house. No, nah, no. Nah, never, nah. never inspired to be a DJ. DJ Crazy Hair in the house. Jesus, yeah. Dude, I always feel silly. Like I, you know, in this business, we meet a lot of DJs. I always feel silly when the DJ tells me his DJ name and not his real name because yes. I refuse to. Hey, what's up, man? I'm Cuts. I'm like, I'm not I'm not calling you that. Yeah, it's hard for me. You know, I'm good friends with Cipher Sounds, uh -huh. and I tell you, I want to call him Lewis so bad. <laughs> you have to. That's what his mother calls him. And I'm like, Cipher. <laughs> What's up, Syfe? <laughs> and that, and he goes, "Well, why do you say it's so depressing?" And then I, I said, "We need to have Cipher sounds. We, we're gonna invite him on and have him on. He's Puerto Rican, and yeah. um, I have him on. But every time I say his name, it's like Syfe. Yeah. But inside, <laughs> I was like, I just want to call you Lewis so bad because we're just having a phone conversation. You just feel like a, you feel silly because you're an adult. Like, you yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your name isn't. This isn't your name. This is your stage. Yeah. Like you should have. Yeah. Because if that's the case, dude, like we should be able to call ourselves. Like, hey, what's up? Um, uh, you can call me Iron Man, and people mm -hmm. are like, what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there was a, this producer in Miami, friend, and he produced a couple of hit songs, and his name was uh, Derek. Mm -hmm. And everybody referred to him as Big first letter of his name Derek mm -hmm. like it was big and I would every time he was like yo well, call me call me and I was like, like no yeah. I'm not I'm not gonna call you big first letter of your first name <laughs> that's what everyone story. calls me I'm calling you what your mother calls you no I'm calling you Derek if you want me to call you by, by, a, by a nickname get another nickname dog right. but I'm not I don't feel comfortable I don't feel comfortable. <laughs> Did you ever have a nickname growing up? Uh, I was uh, the scavenger uh -huh. uh, because I could just find stuff. Uh -huh. And in the thing, and by doing this, don't assume that they were stealing. But right. I could just like, oh, I need this, Orlando. I said, I got you. Give me a week. So I was so the you, scavenger. You would, you would technically Yelp before Yelp. That's yeah. all yeah, I was the scavenger, and I was also, when I was a kid, I was called Gallego by my family because I didn't like to take showers as a little kid. And, like, it was it was a little bit bad because it's Gallego, yeah. meaning, like, a Spaniard uh, cowboy. Uh -huh. And because I smelled like a Spaniard cowboy, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I never had a nickname growing up. I, other than the stuff my mom, I ain't go to the, which I would, I would always... A little chubby yeah. bag, like stop it. Eh. Yeah, but yeah. none of them Oh really yeah, and then the family, you know, uh, me being dark skinned they call me. My mom calls me, uh, me negrito. That's what my mom calls me. Which you can't. Well, she shouldn't call you that. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> so because there's super white. What is she doing? Uh, and then and my mother in law does that. And then like as I got older with my mom, I had to educate her, and I also had to educate my mother-in-law because yeah, they were dude. like oh mi negrito mi negrito and they're like doing that in in public and and all that and i was just like yo like people ain't yeah. understanding that you mean that in an india especially with my mom because my mom looks you know my mom's yeah. nickname is blanca that's uh -huh. how she looks like a gallon of milk well dude I, i'm gonna tell you this story i remember so anytime i go back to new york to visit you know, I'll mm -hmm. do shows, and when my mom hears I'm doing shows, she wants to come with me, and she's adorable. She comes to these shows, and she always like, like I'm like, do you want something to drink? Thinking she's gonna get like just water. I, I want to, I, I want a pina colada. Like that's her thing. I don't know that's why. I'm like, you should not be yo, getting. Pina yo, colada. me and your mom can hang. I'm a pina colada type of guy too. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm always like, why do you get pina coladas at, at a comedy club? Like that's a resort, drink. but she loves mm. it. And I get it everywhere. Them, Bartenders, the waitstaff always think she's uh, like, they're like, oh my God, yes. And they get it for her. But yeah. dude, one time she came with me to the cellar and drops the nickname. 
drop. She goes, Negro, get, you know, bah, 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 you want? I'm sitting next to Bobby, Bobby Kelly, and mm-hmm. Keith Robinson. When oh, I tell what you, was that up, for? Eyes open up because I knew, like, you know, he's he's like one of those guys when he gets it's there's blood in the water. Like he got so excited because he was about to like just smash me for the next hour. Yeah, what did she say? Yeah. Yeah. And like just going in and I was like, no, 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 I know what that means. And I was yeah, like, yeah. Oh. I was like, yeah. 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 And Keith Robinson is like, he has like um like um what an activist background. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, because I remember I, I I believe it might have been in the Kevin Hart book mm-hmm. where he got arrested with Keith Robinson and he actually had people come up from Philadelphia and protest. Oh, at wow. the police station to release them. Uh-huh. He made like one phone call and his Keith's brother uh, in the story showed up with like a bunch of people with signs and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Everyone's trying to get a nickname from stuff going here, starting rumors yeah. and on chat. You see yeah, this? this guy takes time out of his day to like, like tag me on a post of some girl that um, does uh you know um she does like 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 i forgot what she does i can't find the right word word but she has like 1.6 million followers on tiktok and she just signed to wme oh and and edwin takes time to tag me on that post to let me know He's that trying to get you to get TikTok, it he wants you to TikTok. tiktok like and he sends it to me like it's in a like she just won an oscar and i'm like why he almost got blocked today he was very close to getting blocked. To get blocked. yeah blocked and reported for harassment because i do that i'll report you for harassment Betty. Betty. i reported claudia a couple of times oh, oh all of that, that orlando's pettiness yes <laughs> that is brought to you by orlando's pettiness yes yeah uh let's get the show go man i'm very excited we got two amazing guests yes. uh two of my favorite people dude like uh, and as the pandemic goes, I just, I like anytime I hear news about them or see them on my feed, I get excited. Mm-hmm. Uh, but first up, she has her own podcast. She's the host of the Hot Pizza Ass Podcast. Give it up for Erin, darling. Hey, guys. <laughs> yes. oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. This is the most applause I've heard in like a year. I'm stoked. <laughs> All right, before before we bring in our next year, let, let, this is Edwin's level of pettiness. He wants you to get mad at Erin because she's teaching a TikTok class. Yeah. Wait, well, on. Aaron, what? Aaron, Aaron, <laughs> it's like I don't have to defend Aaron because Aaron is no, a Edwin, young, Edwin young is, person. Edwin is Aaron doing... is, she's a young person. She's not like an adult with asthma, you know? I have asked on TikTok. I'm a grown up. <laughs> yeah, but you're not you're not a grown man on TikTok. I know you're you're a grown up, but you're much younger than all of us. Thank you. I just I put that out there. Y'all, I see old people on TikTok all day. Yeah. Yeah, I could I could help. I'll coach you up, Orlando. You know what? No, I'm good. Aaron, I'm good. <laughs> I know I know my lane. I know my lane. My lane might not be as fast as everybody, but I'll get there eventually. And I love yeah. that you chose you to you 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 offered that up. Thank you so much. Thank you. Maybe Edwin will take you up on it. He's about that life. All right, Edwin. <laughs> By the way, so you know something funny though. Edwin's nickname is the same as mine. Mine's mm. Big E too. Isn't that funny? Yeah. How come I, I never got a big E? You know what? I'm, I'm yeah. fighting. I got a, I, I, you know what the disrespect is? Oh, I know one time I got a little E and I didn't like that. Yeah, but that's more <laughs> that that fits a little bit better. You know what? I don't like the tone of this, 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 this the way this is going right now. Uh, let me fit. bring in the next guest who I'm also very excited by. I got to see him perform uh, live where they were doing the taping for the Entre Nos and I was there and this dude absolutely killed it. Uh, give it up. For Chris Estrada, everybody. What's up, everyone? (laughs) (laughs) 
Too much horn. And Too much my boy horn. hit me with them horns. Yeah, Came in strong. Hey, here's the thing. I can't hear them, so I don't even know how loud they're going out. <laughs> I can't hear you right now because yeah. of the horns. <laughs> Our ears are still ringing. Yeah, I'm still ringing. Yeah. So that was that, that was a bad one. You were on a good one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, What's going on, Chris? Man, are you, now first of all, before we, are you on TikTok? Are you TikToking? I'm, I'm not TikToking. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm too miserable to TikTok. Yeah, no. Like, uh, and you not. can't, you you can't get TikTok with a with with a haircut like that. Not like this. You no. see exactly. this? This is there's a there's a there's a cut. part there yeah. when you have a part like that, you can't. Yeah. Like Erin can part. because she has the part, but she has it's like a wave. Yeah. Like. <clears throat> I'm too, I'm too miserable to be on TikTok. Like if I was on TikTok, I, like if I was 15 right now mm -hmm. and I was on TikTok, <laughs> the only reason I would be on TikTok is to talk shit about other people. Like that's the, that's the misery I bring with me. Yeah. 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 I'm just miserable. Yeah, I do. Edwin, Edwin's like, you got to get on TikTok. Got to get on TikTok. Like he's, he's preached this. And then I, I you know, I got my name and I started putting up clips and I always like to sort of uh, try to educate myself, and TikTok makes no sense to me. It's mm -hmm. it's there's some comedy, and then it's just hey, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna dance. I'm gonna, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna do this dance, and then it's I'm gonna do uh, just goofy goofy videos that aren't really that funny, but it's it's 15 seconds, so and it's just like I don't know what's happening. I, love I, I, I take it. I take it for. I I I accept it and I celebrate it for the art form that it is because man these are so so many creative people on TikTok yeah. uh, I'm just not one of them Same. and uh, I, I just I, wasn't able and I respect them for their art form and then I hope yeah. that they you know respect me for whatever it is that I do I don't know what I do anymore I've been inside we're going on a year people yeah. and I don't know what I do anymore man I'm I'm feeling that that quarantine depression from you right now. No, 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 never <laughs> depressed, never depressed. I just give off like uh, the great Jesus told me. Sometimes I just give up cat vibes. Oh uh, yeah, that that makes sense. Yeah, you can start licking your paw right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there sure. you go. Mm -hmm. Somebody wrote here. I, whenever I get an idea for a TikTok video, I ask my sister to help me, but she always responds like, "Ugh, no." I feel like if I was around people willing to help, I would do TikTok every day. Oh, yeah. Lola, all you need is a stand. You just need like a stand and you can make it yourself, you know? Or you could sign up to Aaron's class. Sign up for Aaron's class. Aaron's Follow class. her. Yeah. I'll help you, Lola. I'll help you. So wait, what are you what are you what are you doing on TikTok, Aaron? Are you are you doing stand up? Are you doing parts of your podcast? What are you doing? So what I'm doing is I have a channel where I deep I debunk pop culture conspiracy theories so like yeah. i'll yeah i'll go in and be like okay where did this start like pe people think beyonce faked her pregnancy all right wendy williams in 2011 i'll go back and find some clips you know mm -hmm. i'll like, piece the story together and figure yeah. out like why people believe it and then i'll kind of like do my little jam of debunking it so mm -hmm. it blew up real quick like in two or three months so now i like i was like y'all where i was like no i don't want to do this like i don't get it I'm not going to dance all day and like, no, thank you. But then mm -hmm. I kind of figured it out. And then I'm like, oh, no, I can I can actually help people because I see a lot of comics not know what to do with the platform. And I'm yeah. like, oh, now that I kind of think I figured it out, I know I can like help others do the same thing. Because like the thing is, like Edwin's right, like it is kind of a good platform. You can blow up quick on it. So, yeah. it's just hard to get started because it's annoying. And you're like, I don't want to watch like 13 year olds dance all day. Well, I guess some people do, but. But it is that that's the tricky part too because you'll start seeing that sometimes a, a, a female pops up and you're like okay and then she turns around she got braces you're like oh no this is illegal i can't be watching the guys <laughs> too much disturbing sometimes <laughs> where, there should be a button where you where you email their parents directly like hey this is what your daughter's doing you yeah. <laughs> know but i but i love what i love about TikTok is that the one the one thing i do love about it is like the people who pop off from it are like everyday people like that dude dog face that like that fool works at a warehouse and that fool work that fool's from idaho half mexican half native american this fool worked at a warehouse for 20 fucking years and that fool just did that shit with his daughters and i love that some random fool like him could do that shit and then pop off like yeah, yeah. dog get your money like you've been working at a warehouse 
if you no, can that's get, pure. That's pure I magic that. and pure and magic. luck and God knows what that guy did in his life. That karma came back and gave him that because that day, his story, his uh, his car broke down, his truck broke yep. down, so he pulled out his longboard and he skated to work on his longboard and he had a bottle of ocean spray. And he drank the ocean spray cranberry juice and filled himself. And then he added the music to it. Yeah. And off of that, Rip, ocean spray commercial, Fleetwood Mac is with him. And then Jesse Reyes out of Canada, great singer, uh, does a video with him. Yeah. Like she flies down to his yeah. hometown and does a, a skating video with him. Yeah. I mean, but you know what I love about that too is that I saw an interview with him where they asked him, somebody asked him like, oh, would you ever like fuck with music? And then he, he's so self-aware though. He goes, man, ain't nobody trying to hear me do music. I, I know my lane. Like I just do these videos. Like I just yeah. love that he's such a smart, self-aware dude. And he was like, I'm just fucking with these videos. I like this, you know? Yeah. And he knows his lane. And Aaron, yeah. Aaron, congratulations to Aaron because she discovered her lane. She started yeah. debunking. She didn't start doing dances or making mm. pizza. She just started debunking uh, <laughs> conspiracy theories, which is yeah. fantastic. Oh, thank you. <laughs> but uh, I, I congratulate you guys on that. I, I have my name on TikTok. is at Hey Lando, and I have done nothing. But I <laughs> own my name there because that's what I do. I even went to the to the ground house or the or the what is it? Ground house or house. what? Clubhouse is what you're talking. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I went to oh, I went to the coffee shop. The ground I went to, house. I went to the I went to the ground house and I got my name there. And By then, way, this is this is how you know me and Orlando have been doing this for a full year. I understand him now. It's like talking yeah. to my mother. He said I I did the ground thing. Oh, clubhouse. Yeah, yeah. that thing. Yeah. Okay, cool. Go ahead. So I went over there and I went to and I and I because I got invited to there was a comic talk, and I went there, and I I I. And they were like, Orlando, chime in. And I was just like, no, not gonna, not gonna chime in on your, on your Groundhog Day house. Yeah. For yeah, a, if, you, if you guys aren't on Clubhouse, all it is, is you're on a conference call all day. That's all it is. Yeah. You're yeah. on a conference call. And if you want to, you can speak up. If not, then you just sit there and listen to other yeah. people talk. Well, yeah. I'm old enough. I'm old enough. And I don't know if all of you are old enough, but even though I look deliciously yummy and I have all my hair, I'm old enough to remember party lines. Where I remember you used party to, lines. Yeah. So Chris knows you used yeah. to go to a public phone and dial into mm -hmm. public phones were these phones that were outside in the world yeah. and you used to put coins in them and people you could call people, but you could call the party line and just hang on and you would hear people from all around the country. And then people would give each other their personal information. Or if you had a beeper, you would give out your beeper number. Be yeah. like, yo, I feel like a connection is happening here. You know, hey, call me on my beeper and stuff like that. And yeah. then, but then the giving out your beeper number was bad also because then a bunch of people would start calling your beeper. When I was growing up, I caught the tail end of party lines, and party uh -huh. lines in LA were really big, like in, like really in Southern California. And like people would call each other, people would meet up and be like, or there would be what would make me laugh is somebody would like claim, would start throwing up their gang in the party line and be like, hey, yeah, so that I'm always from so and so. Like, <laughs> like damn, they're banging on the party line. Yeah, they used to do that. And I'm in, at the time, I'm in uh, Hialeah, Florida, in Miami, Florida, a city within Miami, Miami Dade County called Hialeah. And then I remember I used to get on the party line, and then people started like, I'm from, and I had no clue. Like, yo, what are you talking about, dude? I don't, I'm. I'm in Miami. I don't know what part of Miami that was because I didn't know in the beginning that it was like the whole United States were on there. Yeah. <laughs> so, that was, so you are right, Chris. Uh, people were throwing up their gang and who they yeah. were. They were gang banging on there. Whoa. Old man talk with Orlando Leyva. Yeah, I used to have to get on my rotary phone and dial the number. Orlando, yes. we got to. Yeah. No more, no, no, no more of that. Come on. Get on Clubhouse and TikTok. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm on both of those things, man. I have my name, but you're not. I'm not gonna. I'm not. Maybe, I, maybe I'm. I'm intrigued now because of Aaron because she has a debunking conspiracy theory. One that is that's anything, really interesting. Anything that starts with conspiracy, 
You you got me. It's easy to get me to sign up. Okay, and yeah. debunking. So, all right. So speaking of a conspiracy, did you watch that new documentary on Netflix, uh, the Hotel Cecil? Yeah. Oh, yes. Did yes. like I love that now these documentaries have their whole little social media detectives now. Like that's a thing. Yeah. Like yeah. You get on, and they're like, look, hold up, I'm gonna find clues. Uh 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 uh. There's another there's another foot right there, and you're like, okay, like yeah. to kill, uh, don't kill cats. Or don't fuck with cats. Like oh if you saw God. that one, yeah. that was just a a crew of online detectives that yeah. found this dude. Yeah, like mm -hmm. they were they were going to they would go to work. Like there was this one she would go to work at a Las Vegas casino, but she was in her head all day while she's dealing cards, trying to crack the case. And then yeah, that's a, like with the hotel Cecil one. It was just like one dude was like a dentist assistant or a dentist. He was a dentist. And he's like, yeah, I was so attached to her because he sat there. They sat there and read all her posts uh -huh. and they built that connection through the code. And I was just like, yeah, I don't I don't care, Claudia, that I'm old. See, she's always throwing fire at me, dude. And that's why I report her. I swear to God, I report her all the time. I'm trying to take down her vision board podcast one <laughs> one report at a time. And to... so they made this contact with her. And they, the guy's like a, and I'm like, my dude, you're, you're a dentist. Yeah. Yo, I apply common, my whole life. I'm not a very smart man, but I have common sense. I have common sense. I, 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 I like to think I have a lot of common sense. The minute that they showed, see the, see the timestamp, how it's corrupted and blurted out. And then I go, yeah. Cause if they put on the timestamp and you actually see the number, then they can't tell the criminal if there if a crime has been committed they can't match it up they have to match that up they can't just let everybody know at what time was the last time that she was seen mm -hmm. <laughs> suspect dog the guy was a dentist he probably lost clients i think I've been he cried in the last like in the last episode i think he actually cried yeah he was even years later, he felt so attached to this person and this story and spent all this like time looking into it and yeah. writing about and it. And just going and booking a, booking your own room at the Cecil where, where your sneakers stick to the floor oh. as you're walking. No oh, way, yeah. dude. No. I, I've been Why? there, dog. I used, I used to kick it there back in the days, like around did you really? Dog, I, did, I smoked meth up in the Hotel Cecil. <laughs> I've tweaked out there. I used to kick it there. But I, I relate to that fool, though, because back in the day, this was before I was a comedian where I was just doing stupid shit. I, after a breakup, I got, I don't know why, dog, I, I started reading about the Black Dahlia. And I don't think I wanted to deal with my breakup, so I really got involved in the Black Dahlia mm. murder. Dog, yeah. I used to drive around all L.A. just being like, she was last seen here. What am I going to figure out? I was a fucking mm. idiot. I was working at a warehouse. Like, yeah. you know, it's just like, finally, I was like, you know what? I, I just think I don't want to deal with my breakup. That's really what it yeah. is. You were and running was, away from something. I was, I was running away from something. But yeah, yeah. it's like so funny because that dentist, I'm like, you're just like an overwork. He's like a alcoholic homicide detective who's like telling his wife, I'm married to the case. Like, you know, this is like. <laughs> But how did like I, like if you're that guy? And my dog. This is the first time she wants oh, to make an appearance. Hey. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you got the speakers. Hold on. Hilarious. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If you're that guy, how do you bring that up in combo at like the family reunion? Because you know he's dying. Like, what you been yeah. up to? He's dying for somebody asking him. So what you been up to, man? Woo. About to yeah. crack this case. Oh, you <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I, I, listen, I've been online. Figured it right out. Online. Figuring it out. I got it. I got I, I got post I got boards, index cards in my rooms with strings. <laughs> they were clearly just hiding from something, man. Yeah. yeah. Know, running know, away from those something. Are people, those are the people in the movies and uh, the documentary that always cracking up, the ones with the strings in the back yep. that connecting the dots. That's how I was. I got so into that black dahlia shit that I started investing like I was like I would. I remember. I drove. I drove to the last hotel she was at, which was the Biltmore Hotel in LA, in downtown. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I remember just being like, I was like twenty five at the time. I was like, I remember being like, where did she go from here? <laughs> like, I was just a fucking idiot. I was like, what was I gonna find out? Nothing. 
That place <laughs> feels haunted. I haven't been to the Cecil, but I have been to the Biltmore, and that yeah. is for sure like real weird, eerie energy. Yeah, yeah. it is. It's a beautiful. Yeah. And what do you do? What do you hang oh, out or do you leave? Well, I stayed there. I met up. Yeah. Last time I was there, I've been there for a couple of events. But the last mm -hmm. time I was there, my friends were there and they were drinking in the lobby. So I stayed. Just, you know, figured that the ghost wouldn't get me if I was with other people, you know? Yeah. I think that's it's how it works. The ghost only gets you if you're alone. Well, this is a good one. This is a good one for your next TikTok the, uh, conspiracy yeah. uh, theory. You know? Yeah. If you when when shit opens back up, you should go to the the Biltmore Hotel. It's dope. I mean, it's like it's mm -hmm. a real beautiful hotel. It's where they used to have the Oscars there, like back in the '30s, mm -hmm. the '30s and the '40s before they moved them away. But like, it's a really beautiful hotel, and it's kind of crazy if you go so, if you go through like their lobby, they have these huge portraits of the Oscars from the 1930s, and yeah. it looks it, it looks like The Shining. You know that photo at the end where you look and you oh, see wow. Jack Nicholson in the photo, it looks, yeah. the photos look like that. Where you're wow. like, if I stare at this motherfucker, I'm gonna see myself in there. Yeah, the only thing that did trip me out, and I'm sure everybody felt the same way, and I don't know what, how we went down this Hotel Cecil documentary rabbit hole, was when they let you know that that killer, I forgot what the guy's name. Richard that, Ramirez? That, yeah, that he's yeah. also a documentary. That he, that's where he was staying at. Yeah. And they were like, and I, I, there's a part of me that felt like they were exaggerating the narrator. This is the hotel where he would pull into the alley, covered get in blood, <laughs> covered in blood, take off all his clothes, and walk walk upstairs in his underwear, full of blood, to his room. I was just like, ah. <laughs> yeah, like, no one called him out. It was like normal activity for the Cecil yeah. Hotel. It was yeah. like <laughs> Richard yeah. Ramirez was so big, he, dude. He did a guest star on another documentary. He was just like, "What's up, y'all?" <laughs> yeah, I so, yeah, yeah. I used to stay here, son. That's what it was like. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad I have you both on, man, because I've been impressed with. But like I, like I said before, like I love when you guys pop up on my feed, uh, you know, and always good news, and you know. Me and Orlando always get excited when we see the family doing big things. Like I know Erin was on a commercial, so she's still hustling during during uh, pandemic. Uh, <laughs> you would do you did voiceover, right? For yeah, I was I was in an animated commercial, but that's pretty cool. Oh. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. like I, I get really excited. Cool. She's like, I'm in this commercial, and then I started like, wait, oh, it's her voice. <laughs> okay, like, this is a cartoon. Erin's Erin's gone. She's watching <laughs> TikTok. <thick stuff. laughs> Yeah, it was just my voice, you know. Did you, now, did you record that at home or did you have to go in studio? Well, so here's the weird thing about that is like, so now for voiceover, like everyone wants you to do in home studios, but for like for the technology to do that, it's like thousands of dollars. So I just recorded my voiceover at home and then I booked it and then I had to book a studio mm -hmm. because like I think they assumed I had a home setup and I was like, like not that type, like not the professional kinds. <laughs> yeah. I had to kind of like make it work in the moment, you know, it's like, and I had no notice. I had like a day and I was just like calling studios during like COVID being like, can I hire an engineer? Like, can, can we make this happen? And luckily it worked out, but I really cut it close there. So I got lucky. That's dope. That's yeah. dope. You made it happen. And it's a wonderful industry. My wife is in that industry. She's on the other side of it. She's on the engineering, owning recording studio, not owning, but running the recording studio side of it. And um, wow, it's, it's, it is. And if you can invest in uh, some minor things that you can get at your house, it's a great investment in yourself. Because once here's the thing about that world it's very small. So once you fall into it, they just keep on coming back to you. And next thing you know. Now, have you seen a shift, Aaron, with, because I know you were also doing a lot of acting. Did you see a shift from the acting to voiceover or is it still, you know, are you getting auditions on the acting side? Not so much on, like, how's that working for you? Yeah, I'm auditioning a lot right now, which is really cool because, you know what, it's like, it's starting to feel like the world is kind of coming back again. I think that's like the best part about it. So it's just like doing both at the same time, just hustling. You guys know how it is. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. And now, Chris, mm -hmm. you got big news coming out right here. Boom! During pandemic. Uh, 
What an awful. <laughs> I love that he's like, no, that's come on, guys, come on, oh, come on, dude. That's that's huge, man. You got yeah. a show on, on Hulu. Fred Armisen's involved. Like, yeah. take us through. Like, how did all of this come about, man? Man, it came about in a really weird ass way. Like, I was doing stand up. Like, I was just doing stand up at this point. I had gotten like I was starting a feature. Mm -hmm. I was like, I was a feature. I would occasionally get like a one night of headlining and. But other than that, man, I was fucking working. Like I was just working at a warehouse and shit, like being like, damn, I hope I keep featuring and I hope I can keep headlining and shit like that. And randomly, the, this dude hit me up um, on over text, um, the producers of this, of this pilot. Um, they used to have a show on Comedy Central called Corporate. And those fools randomly hit me up and they were like, hey, um, would you be interested in meeting with us if you have any ideas? We're like producers now because of our TV show. And I just remember I was like, I was all sweaty. I was fucking unloading a truck. And I was like, yeah, dog, I'm for, all good. When and where? <laughs> you know, so met up with those cats. And then, yeah, we just started. This was, man, just to give, I guess, some perspectives. This was like the fall of 2018. Right. Wow. And, that, and that's when we started working on it. Yeah. And then we worked on it like starting October, we finished in January, and then we wanted to pitch it. And then everybody was like, Chris Estrada, who? Who the fuck is, you know, like, who the fuck is this guy? And I was like, hey, look, I don't blame you guys. I work at a warehouse sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> what ended up happening was then we didn't pitch it. We weren't able to pitch it till the summer. And then um, randomly, somebody, one of the guys sent me a text and was like, hey, would you be okay with uh, with us sharing this with Fred Armisen, like the what we have? Mm -hmm. And I said, do you like him? If you don't, let us know or whatever. I was like, Man, even if I don't like him, send it to him. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, but now I worked out and then send it to him. And then he, he really took to the material and... It was really when he jumped on board that, pe that we were able to get pitches, like pitch meetings and whatnot. And that was the fall of 2019. Right. And then we went to go pitch and then they, we sold it and then we had to write the pilot. And then, yeah, and then it just took forever. It's really been like shit, like two, a two year process. Yeah, it's it's yeah. always so funny because like you see these announcements come out and people like that aren't in the business think it's like an overnight thing. Like, oh man, yeah. right? And it's like you don't realize how long sometimes these things take. Like putting the right pieces together. Oh, and it's I just, know. It's so funny that you're like Chris Estrada, who do I have those same meetings too, where it's like you know you go in with Fred Armisen and they like they're like, oh my god, it's Fred, and then and then they look at you yeah. and they're like, hey, hey, what's up? <laughs> What's up, dude? That Fred kind of likes, <laughs> you know. Yeah. It's like, so it was weird too because I think when uh, I remember when they told me, "Hey, do you want to talk to Fred on the phone?" Like we should all talk to him on the phone. I like scheduled my lunch break at this <laughs> warehouse and being like, I went to my car and I took my fucking my faja, like my work belt. I yeah. took it off and then I was like, "Oh, hello." <laughs> you know, it was just. It's just kind of weird. And I was like, all right, well, I guess this is how it is or whatever. And yeah. at least for me at my level, you know, no, then, that's awesome, man. That is. Yeah, so awesome. that's how it came about. But yeah, it was a real process. It was like literally it, it started two two years. It was from just like we were working on it. And then, you know, and then Fred Armisen was took to it. And then it was really through that that we were able to get meetings and whatnot. So, yeah. Yeah, I have. I I think with uh, just bringing up like let's say Cristela, I believe the story behind Cristela was uh, three years. Yeah, three years yeah. in the making. You know, I've heard for, that too. To, for it to go there, and uh, and and we're happy for you. And oh, right thanks, away, man. Eric and I both uh, celebrated you right away on that. Oh, and, yeah, and, and and what was beautiful to see a lot more other people. Thanks to me and Eric, I'll be honest. Uh, <laughs> Felt oh. comfortable sharing. Yeah. Felt comfortable sharing because we yeah. were coming from a, where uh, I think as a as a community we're, we're turning that corner where every win is a win and we're gonna celebrate it. You know yeah. whether it's our win or someone else's win. A win is a win and we're gonna celebrate it. So we yeah. we're happy. Oh, nice. We're happy for the both of you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, dude, I, 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 I'm gonna piggyback on what Orlando says. It's so funny because you know we're 
we're, we're seeing a tide change in the industry, especially with comedians. Like back in the day, like people would, I, I like, it still blows my mind. Like when I first moved here, hearing like, oh, that person doesn't talk to that person. And that person has beef with that person and that person. And I'm just like, why? We all, we're just, we're, <laughs> we're, we're all doing stand up and we should be having a good time and, and there yeah. should be a lottery. And now we're starting to see these things where it's like, you know, when Chris's announcement came out, yeah, me and Orlando were like, yo, that's amazing. And it's yeah. funny because you'll still get those little like, Oh, you working on that? No, but I want yeah. Chris to win, man. That's that's huge. We don't have representation. And then when Aaron's like, "Oh, I, I was in that commercial. Like, that's amazing." Boom, because we don't see ourselves on the screen, and that's amazing for her. Like that's that's yeah. all a big win, man. You know? Yeah, totally. It felt it feels nice. Yeah, it really feels now, nice. How, how, what what if you can like what part of the process are you guys in right now? You guys wrote a pilot. Uh, for oh those yeah. That's the first so, script. Yeah. So right now we're just in pre-production and then um, just casting. And then the idea, I think, is to shoot in April, right. sometime right. in April. And then, yeah, that's been about it. It's been it's been pretty crazy. It's like some weeks are busy, some weeks are not. And, yeah, it's kind of crazy. It is kind of crazy sometimes when you, like, talk to people that you're just like, I don't know how the fuck I'm talking to you. But it, you almost feel like, like you almost like, oh, shit. All of you believe this lie. I'm in over my head or whatever. But, <laughs> but it feels good. Yeah, it feels good. It, it's kind of like one of those things. It's like a, I kind of, it's like a, I treat it like stand up. Like um, when I started stand up, I was just like, all right, I need to learn how to be funny at three minutes. Right. Yeah. And then, so it, it, it's like a pace. I feel like you got to treat it like, okay, today you got this and tomorrow you got this and you know, and, yeah, just pacing it. I, I ever since I started stand up, I treat everything like stand up. Yeah, and that's the that's the most beautiful thing, and that's why I want I want to make sure that you know that you do belong in that room, and that you're not fooling anybody. They know exactly who you are, and they know that you're a superhero because right. you I, can I, stand I, I, up I, I, in front of a crowd of people and make them laugh. So I, that's I, I, a special I, 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 talent. Everyone's starting rumors. He's heard things about the Chris pilot. I don't know what that means. <laughs> and uh, he also wants to know, can he get a, a chilling in the background type of role in the pilot? This dude's yeah. trying to get Seven. background yeah. work. Good. What, what That's a good transition. What? Yeah. How is that? Are you getting any pressure? Because sometimes people celebrate you to yeah. try to... When those are um, out, people come out the work, hey, man, how do I submit? How do I get in your life? Yeah, yeah. No. You Are know you what? getting that pressure? Not. And I hope that you're not. No, you're not? surprisingly not. Somebody hit well, me up. Well, not that many person. people. You're not that social, so I, I yeah. get that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. It's true. It's true. It, people don't like... Um, I'm nice. Like, I, I always do my best to be cordial and shit. I don't want to be disrespectful to anyone. But, like, mm -hmm. uh, everybody was just pretty nice. I, the only person that hit me up, it was really funny because it was very practical. It was just mm -hmm. like, hey... um. I do script coordinating if you ever need someone. <laughs> like it wasn't, hey, can I be on it? Can I get a yeah. right? It was just like, I, I'm a script coordinator. It, I do. Yeah, it was continuity. kind of like nuts and bolts. Someone that. Yeah, yeah, some nuts and bolts shit. Yeah, yeah, it was that. That's awesome. and I was like, oh shit, that's kind of crazy. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, that's I, awesome. dude, I, I, <laughs> I've gotten the, hey man, you ever need it? And you're like, all right, <laughs> relax. Yeah. I, I don't have that much power. But then it goes back to your point of like, I fooled all these people. Yeah, like, I pulled all this before. Yeah. Can you develop my show? Wait, hold up. Yeah, hold I don't up. even I don't even have a show. What are you talking about? Yeah. I'm horrible. I'll be like, yeah, send them my way. Let me see what I think of it. I have my people look at it. Who are your people? I'm yeah. my people. Yeah. Oh, oh, Orlando's about crushing dreams. <laughs> Orlando's a guy Orlando's a guy you call when you feel like your head's getting a little too big. Like I, you know what? I'm getting too comfortable. I'm getting too excited here. Hey, oh, what's up? <laughs> and he brings Just you right remember. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so now I have to ask. You know, we're, we're still in the pandemic, but like, is there any stand-up dates in the future for you guys? Where you guys are you excited to get back on stage? Like, I got a I got a date coming up in Arizona, and I'm excited because I haven't been on stage in over a year. But also, I'm terrified. I'm like. I haven't done an hour. I was like, that hour is going to be a lot of, is that the light? Was that, was that the light guys? How much? Seven minutes. I've only been up here seven. Okay. Uh, Where's the light? The light is the light still in the same place. Did I miss <laughs> the light? 
Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Aaron? No, I'm not doing stand up right now, really, at all, except for today on Clubhouse. I'm doing uh, me and Erica Rhodes wrote a play mm -hmm. called okay. Actors Improvise. This is how it goes interior, black box, night. Actors do what they feel in the moment. And then it's 22 blank pages and then fade out. So I we actually cast people in this. <laughs> so cool. we're doing a live reading of this play tonight on Clubhouse at 10 p.m. If anyone's interested in seeing what yo, Orlando. Aaron, I am. I, I, yo, if you send me an invite, I'll go. Because that sounds, really? see, that's creative. That is creative. It is. 1,000%. I think it'll be interesting to see what happens. I'm, I'm like kind of excited, you know, to see how um, where it all goes. <laughs> I, I, send me an invite. I'm there, dude. Okay, good, I'm good. Cool. But no, I'm That's not dope. doing five dates right now. I think I'm going to wait till things clear up a little bit more. I'm still a little yeah. paranoid, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I had a date. I had a date uh, in March 19th in Texas. Uh, that one actually, because of the weather, they had to pull back on it because of everything that happened and slow down the construction of the theater. Mm -hmm. And uh, last night I was uh, at the Hollywood Improv. I uh, I did some stand up for South by Southwest. Mm -hmm. uh, it got taped at the Hollywood Improv, so it felt great being on that stage. But man, was it clunky! I was just I was clunk clunk clunk, and I just I don't know if I told jokes, but I know my face saved my the night. And they had an audience. <laughs> they had an audience. Wow. They tested everybody. And That's it was great. about it was about twenty five people inside of the improv. Everybody got tested. Everybody was sitting social distance, no food, no drinks, uh, and um, and um, they had to wear their face masks. So that was a that, it was a great night of I, I I'm I'm grateful for that night because it felt good. It just felt good. And then me and my sister Ida Rodriguez, we're gonna go on the road and start chopping now because as she gets ready to. Uh, do her first hour for HBO. I think I'm allowed wow. to say that. Maybe I don't know. I think, yeah. I think she announced something like she that. announced it. I, I think she announced it. Yeah. Uh, somebody, somebody asked, "What, what will your opening lines be, dude?" I, I, in my head, I'm like, "How did I used to even start? Like, I have no idea what that opening line is going to be." So, that's a really I'm, thoughtful question, though, Lowell. That's really sweet. Yeah, right. I, I've I've had my I have my to go, which is uh, what is it? Thank you. I'm happy to be here, and that's it. That's <laughs> if I can get that. That's how I kind of like ground myself on stage. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Okay, now I should tell a joke. <laughs> the hard part. <laughs> oh man. What about you, Chris? No dates coming up. No dates. I've been, I've done a few shows, like outdoor shows, but they're all like small sets, you know, like 10 to 15 minutes. I did one with Orlando a few months back. Yeah. Uh, it was really cool. Uh, Eric did the same show, the outdoor yeah. show with the ben. restaurant. Uh, yep, yep, Ben. Yeah, yeah the only and everybody. Ben and Gonzalez. Yeah. And I've done yeah. the drive-in. I've done a couple of drive-ins with the, uh, with the, um, with the improv down in Irvine. I'm actually, the 13th, I'm there with uh, uh, Fortune. I'm opening up for her. Yeah. I've That's the trick. I, 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 I'm I not doing the Eric thing. I'm not going in for the headlining gigs right now. Yeah. I'm like, no, no, let me, can I open for you? I ask for this. I want to yes, MC and, and, and get my legs under me. I want to feature and get my legs under me. Yeah. I, want, I don't want none of the heavy lifting. I don't, <laughs> woo. I did a, the last time I did like a 15 minute set was like back in December. And I remember being like, damn, this feels like work. <laughs> like It just felt like what was crazy about it was I was like, damn, I, I haven't talked this long in a long time. Like mm -hmm. it was, it was pretty crazy, but I, I miss it, you know, but I also, I want to be safe and yeah, you know, I still see my mom's pretty often and she's here in LA. So I'm just like, I'm not going to be the one that's going to give it to her. <laughs> you know, I'm just like, uh, yeah, so I'm just playing it safe. But I, I, I've done a few outdoor shows, and they, they've been dope. I mean, I just miss it. It's just one of those things where I'm like, man, this shit needs to come back. Yeah, no, I, I, I agree. I think I, I see a lot of stand-up comics like they're hurting. They want to get back up on stage. They're mm -hmm. trying to find a way to get it, to make it happen. But it's it's crazy because there is that, that that paranoid feeling of like, I don't know if you guys should be taking your mask off. Like, I... I, I know I've told the story before, but like watch at Ben's show, like I'm watching all the people together eating, and I'm just like, Ugh. yeah, 
nah, this, that ain't safe. Like, I know I, we outdoors, but that's not safe, what y'all doing down there. Yeah. It's still, it's still, it's still, it's still a little bit shaky, man. But there's a lot of people out there. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm volunteering for the vaccine, people. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got it. We have a new segment on the live stream, and you guys are privy to it. This is going to be the first time we do this. It's called yeah. Orlando's Random Questions. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is awesome. Oh, these are my questions. They're random. They're for the both of you. Uh, oh, let me, let me both tell you guys, I have no idea what this is. I get yeah. a text that says, hey, we're doing Orlando's Random Questions, and that's yeah. it. And I just I just felt that having you two as a guest, you guys get it. A lot of the things you're into the know. So uh, I'm pretty sure you'll get all of these right. You know what I'm saying? And, and I, yeah, Wait, points. What is, is this a game show? No, it's not a points. It's all about your self-esteem, whether or not you're going to get off of this chat with good self-esteem or bad self-esteem. All right. Uh, you know, uh, so let's start off. First question. Uh in and out Burger. Aaron, in and out Burger, your feelings? One word. I don't eat meat. Okay. Oh, so, no. Yeah. No, it was just one word. You don't eat meat. No, no, no meat. Okay. Word, right? Yeah, yeah, I think. Chris? All day, every day. That's why oh. I have high cholesterol. Okay, correct answer. I'm sorry, both of you got that one wrong. Correct answer. Overrated. Overrated. Uh, I got it here. Overrated. I feel you okay. Want that. Crazy. Okay. Uh, Aaron, favorite album? Album? Oh my god, I don't think I can even answer that. I'm gonna say Revolver, the Beatles. Revolver, the Beatles. Yeah. Chris, I'm gonna say uh, London Calling by The Clash. Oh, London! Oh, that's fantastic. That was very close. Wrong. Black Album by Jay Z. <laughs> I didn't realize they could get these wrong. Yeah. That's a good album, though. It really. Yeah. Did. Okay. This one. This one. You guys. I would, I, by the way, I would have said Michael Jackson off the wall. That album yeah. was. Oh my was God, fire. fire. Start to finish. Yeah. Good. JC, Black okay, Album. Yeah, I heard it, but I'm just saying what I would have. Okay. Right. Uh, <laughs> a spot in the world Cancun. Mm. <laughs> okay. Chris? Uh, Los Angeles. Chris got it right. He got oh, that one man. right there. God, how did he get? Hey, hey, Orlando, our fans are wondering what kind of questions uh, these are. Uh, yeah. they're, they're very confused as well. Can you? Not, yeah, you know, yeah. Uh, some of these, some of these people aren't aren't literate. Can you bring up the banner again? Please bring up the banner. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Orlando's random questions. Thank you. Okay. So right now, as we stand, we stand Aaron, zero points. Chris, one point. Way to go with Los Angeles. Okay, next so question. Are, so there are points here. You said that. Oh, boy. I, I apologize, both of you. I really. Uh, Edwin says, if you're. Do, you, you do I need to ask uh, you to bring up the banner again? No, no, no. I, I'm good. Let's go. Next okay. question. Okay. Okay. Can you, can you take down? I don't. That guy has a <laughs> asthma pump. I don't know why you keep on bringing up his. Anyway, okay, guys, this one, this one, <laughs> my favorite. Uh, Aaron, what's two and two? Four. Chris, what is two and two? Six. Wrong answer from the both of you. 22, 22. <laughs> zero, zero. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. Both of you are stand ups. Okay. So. Stand up in Los Angeles, stand up in New York, stand up internationally. Stand up Was that a question? Yeah. It's not very statement-y. Hey. Okay. I, 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 you know what? I'm going to mute myself. They're both, think, they're both thinking about it, so they're falling for it. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're going for it. Uh, yeah, I guess I have to say stand up in New York. Okay. Chris? I'm going to go stand up in New York. Oh, wrong again, guys. Stand up everywhere. You're both stand ups. Jesus. <laughs> that was so simple. Whoa. I'm. Whew. Last two questions. Last we're, two questions, guys. We're fucking up, Aaron. We're yeah. fucking up. We need some good energy. Good vibes. I'm sending it to you. Good vibes. Just focus on the blue light. Focus on my blue light, okay. which is good vibes. Okay. Uh, 
Because that's what the lights represent, a balance of bad vibes and good vibes. And I stand right in the middle. Anyway. <laughs> Chris and Aaron, running or walking? Walking. Running. Aaron, you got that one. Walking. Walking hey. is so fantastic. Ain't it fantastic? You just walk. You get to, when you're running. The, but I do know a lot of uh, Chris's act, and he did a lot of running from the gang members in his neighborhood yeah. when he was a young man. So, but walking. So, wow, we're tied one to one. See, okay, yeah. okay. This is the life. The last question. The last question. Quick question. Uh, what happens if it's a, if it's a tie? Is there a tiebreaker question? Can you bring up the banner and read it yourself? <laughs> Orlando's random questions. There's no rules after the exclamation mark. No, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Thank you. I'm gonna... Guys, last questions. We're, this is exciting. I wasn't expecting it to be tie at this moment. I Honestly, I expected both of you to be at zero, zero. But Me somehow, too. some way, you crawled into my brain, you stepped around, and you figured out what I was thinking. Pretty good. So, my last question to you guys is, Aaron, life is? Awesome. Chris? Like a box of chocolates. Oh, damn. And Chris <laughs> takes it with him. My God. My God. Chris <laughs> takes it with him. You guys are fantastic. Thank you. Thank you for both being a participant in. Bring up my banner, please. Bring up my banner. There you go. Thank you, production. Orlando's random question. Chris, man, thank you, man. You get you you actually get a copy of the questions that I will mail to your house. Regular mail. I will put a stamp on it and mail it to your house, man. Nice. Can you thank sign you. them? Huh? Can you sign them? No, because you know. I don't know if you might live or learn how to take my signature. Fair enough. Fair enough. And next thing you know, I'm ordering waters for your show on yeah. my credit card. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> we kind of like match, but opposite. Like you have the gold background. Oh, yeah. You got sure. the gold. Yeah. yeah. And the blue. I see, I see that. Yeah. It's kind of cool. It is, though. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was Orlando's random question. First time ever done on the show. And uh, and, and we could pretty much say it was a, a, a success. A success. Complete success. <laughs> All right, Thank before you. we let you guys go, what do you guys plug in? Tell people where they can find you. Aaron, we'll start with you. Oh, man. I mean, you can check out my TikTok. It's Conspiracy Seriously. You can join at Clubhouse at 10 p.m. for the first live performance of what I'm sure will be an off-Broadway play. Uh, off, off, off-Broadway play. Um, and yeah. can you put up a link on your Instagram? One of those swipe up things. I don't have the swipe up cause I haven't put in enough work to get 10,000 followers like you guys, but you know, put it on your Instagram so I could swipe up and then join kind of like what yeah. I do with all the Eric's posts. And I'll, I'll DM you too, Orlando. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, and make sure you check out our podcast, hot pizza. Ass. Uh, <laughs> I was, I was a guest. Uh, so it's yeah. a good podcast. So yeah. go check it out. She's amazing. Always hustling. I'm I'm always impressed by what she's doing. I'm uh, waiting for my invitation. Yeah, you'll be on it. You want to be on can it? Can you bring up? Hold on. Can you bring up my pettiness, Orlando's pettiness? One million percent. And we're gonna talk about your dog and your cool background too, which I think has upgraded since last time I did this live stream. Yo, you remember when I had the fish? Yeah. I had a fish. Look at me now. I Look know. at me now. I'm so grown up. Hey, you know who you have to thank for this? And Orlando's random questions and Orlando's pettiness? Eric Rivera. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. The world has him to thank for me being on this on these platforms. I, I tell people all the time because uh, they don't believe me. Go back because now there's an archive. Go back and watch the first couple of episodes where I would Orlando would sit there and just didn't want to be a part of this. And now he's got his own segments. He's got backgrounds. He's got air horns. He is kicked it up a notch. Where I'm just like, oh. he, got, he has horns. Yeah, he's, he's all over the place. Uh, yeah. Chris, where can we find you? Tell me oh, yeah. Working on. They, can, uh, they can find me on Instagram at Chris Estrada Comic or on Twitter. I'm better at Twitter at Chris Estrada 85. And yeah, that's where you can find me. 
Awesome. And, and, and follow Aaron's Aaron's TikTok because it sounds amazing. <laughs> It does. Yeah. It sounds cool. Sounds it amazing. is. Sounds 1000%. We're really excited for you. <laughs> yes, guys, Start copywriting follow. it. Do whatever it is that you need to do because it's going to be fantastic. Yeah, go follow both of them. And like I've said before, look, during a pandemic, we can't go out and tour and hit the stages. So what we ask you guys to do is follow the comics, like their posts, share their stuff. They're both hilarious. They're both amazing. Uh, and it helps us that when the world opens up, people are going to want to come out and see us. Uh, Orlando. What's what up? Oh, hey, Lando. Uh, um, album Adorable is streaming right now on uh, iTunes. Also streaming on Pandora, Apple Music, Spotify, XM Radio, blah, 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 blah. Hey, thank you, Edward Lincoln, for always putting me on. Yeah. By the way, I have joined you. Super yes, White is now streaming on iTunes, Pandora, Spotify, XM Radio, all places you can find it. Title, son. We're on title. We're, we're everywhere. We're everywhere. Yes. That happened this week, and I've been sort of dropping announcements and stuff on Instagram. So thank you guys for supporting and, and going to check it out. Uh, that's been this week's episode. Thank you guys so much again for joining us, uh, and catch us next week. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for having us.